I mean, there was a lot of talk in the last six days of everything that happened last Saturday. Yeah, I mean, for for me, I it's uh, it's just it's just talk, you know. I mean. <laughs> Riders in this championship. Watching the battle for the lead. Here comes Roxon. Stands up. Durham takes the lead away. Durham now charging back to the inside. Next corner. There's contact there. Big time. He went right after Roxon. Now that's with authority right there. That was a very, very aggressive pass. And he had to do that. He's here to show Roxon, hey, you want to beat me, you're going to have to earn it. Ro Roxon goes for him. What? A reverse wow. knack knack over the finish from Durham. Oh, oh Roxon sprays it. He's not happy at all. And the fans oh, are responding Roxon here. not happy at all about that. And he's got some heat on him from Roxon. How about it? Boy, it sure looked like Roxon's not too happy with you. What went on out there that got him so mm. mad at you? Yeah, he seemed a little bummed out at me, but... Uh, I made a little mistake, and he ran me high, and I just carried some speed into the whoops and ran it in on the inside. Uh, I didn't think it was that bad, so uh, it's all good. I'm ready for the main. Yeah, I think the grease in the mud also dictates where you're going because sometimes you want to go inside, and you just drift out. But look at this contact. Oh, oh and Jeremy takes out oh. Eagles up the inside. What contact? Look at the steam pouring off oh, of these oh, Eagles. That is not going to help it. Oh, now the boxing starts. What have we got? A left hook to the head from Tyson. Eagles is standing on the Daglia's uh, bike. And Jeremy, oh, uh, gives him a little shove over the top. And he goes down. Oh, what am I seeing here? This is just carnage. That was fifth and sixth place. That's points. That's money. And we've got some track workers in trying to help. Sometimes when that starts to move down and... Oh, and he almost gets into the back of Peters. Valdez really needs to be fighting those blue flags there. Here he comes. Oh, See, he gets right I in mean, there. I mean, that's the this. perfect example. The blue flags have been out. And that's what can happen. Takes a minute to get going. And it costs him a ton of yeah. positions. And he is frustrated with Alves. Alves just cuts, cuts down there. He's not... I mean, I don't know. Alvance has gotten the blue flag because Osborne, Martin, Smith, and Peters have gone by. I'd be a little disappointed, too. But Back here in St. Louis and Austin, Forkner, all frustrated with Alves. But I think a lot of that is the frustration of crashing out of the lead first. And he's just focused on Alves. But ultimately, he should be a little frustrated with himself for the mental mistake. Here's Jenny, though, with a guy who's going to be real happy. The pro circuit Kawasaki. Raises his hand, Ivan Tedesco is fourth DNF here, and he has to be disappointed. Ivan Tedesco. Oh, yeah, a little he's... frustration there. Hey, we got a plate going on. It's Brandis, number 33. This is obvious something, it's obviously something it was brewing. And Rusty Holland. Oh, the bike has stopped for Jamie Scavenels. He is distraught. And that's, I think, a polite way of describing it. And here's Brother Hunter making his debut, finally, in Supercross. Because he's actually slowing him down. Cooper goes quicker, 45-7. Christian Craig jumps into the mix with a 46-0. Oh, dude, what happened here? Oh, boy, all I, about? I don't know what that was all about. In practice. Yeah, he just went for it. That was... That's totally. a takedown. Now, surely not. Oh, yeah. There you go. They, they don't... Not seeing eye to eye on that, that one, huh? That certainly doesn't look like it. Obviously, I got a really good start, and Webb just pushed me really wide into the tough blocks, which caused me to uh, lose a bunch of spots. Tomac's got a nice inside line. Tomac is there. Cooper webs inside, so he can rocks and crosses the line. Now watch right there. That's what allowed Eli Tomac to slip right underneath the inside. Um, did you hear anything that Roxon said from the podium after the main event at all? Or? Uh, yeah, when we got back, he was running his mouth, but 
I didn't really hear what he said on the podium or anything. I think he's scared of me, you know. That's why he plays these kind of games, but little does he know I like to play as well. So from here on out, I'm just going to put in that little bit of extra focus on a daily basis, even at home. He was too pumped, but, I mean, I I'm not too sure why. You know, I saw an opening, and went for it so uh, oh, he's just fueling the fire and i'm ready for it you know i mean he got this one around and the, the points have closed up a little bit where we got plenty of racing to go so um yeah you know he's really focusing on, on himself this year and clearly he showed how much he's focusing on himself look at barsha's right on the inside he's gonna pass him right here and barsha's not afraid to be aggressive about it and he was and a couple riders down here and they're not happy but uh, okay. you gotta work together Intentionally T-boned the other guy. So I think that we know who got T-boned. Get off of my bike, dude. Someone's just as crazy as you and doesn't give a sh Hey, I don't I give a f you, you dirty s Malcolm Stewart is not. Have you ever passed anyone clean this without year? touching this someone's year? bike? This year? And, yeah, this year. Yeah. And that's the man he's got to beat. Number four, the Swede, Marcus Hansen. And the gate drops. Here they come. Who's it going to be? There he is, Hansen. And he's got number 80, Jeff Van Dorn, right behind him. And Van Dorn going from the inside. Oh, look at this. Van Dorn has forced Hansen into the ropes. Well, that looked rather deliberate to me, but we'll just wait and see what happens, I'm sure. Oh, well, we say that. Marcus Hansen uh, having a little bit of an altercation, I think, with uh, Van Dorn. Obviously, Hansen taking extreme exception to the tactics that Van Dorn obviously displayed against him in the first few opening laps of that first race. Hansen tees down a little bit of Huckabuck getting through there. Michael Lassie just goes from third to first. Michael Lassie finds himself out front much different. Stanky, clearly not happy with what happened off the start. He is a lapped rider here. Lessie motioning that he did not do any of that on purpose, but Stanky is clearly not happy with what happened. The number 44 on the Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki, it is the second week in a row you have to have the fastest qualifying time. Uh, last weekend, you had some crashes and you came together with Cooper Webb. Now, Cooper Webb apologized on the podium. I really want to say sorry to Adam. I honestly didn't mean to it in like that. I thought he was going to go to the, the berm, so I apologize, man, and uh, hope you're all right. I mean, I didn't agree with the move at all. I'm not going to sit here and say that I agree with it, but um, he did apologize, and uh, you know what? I respect his ability. I mean, he was able to, he crashed with me, he was able to get up and win the race, and um, yeah, didn't agree with the move, but that's motocross, and uh, you know, we'll solve it on the track, of course, and um, you know, I'm just focused on this weekend. Yeah, you can fix a race at New York two weeks before that and not have anything happen. You know, and then we'll get a $5,000 penalty, and that's like a drop in the bucket for the 450 class, so why not just keep blasting people? The thing about this, though, is that when you look at this group, is that Tomac, he's the lone wolf. He's out there by himself. Dungey actually has a couple allies here, so I wonder if now that it's going to be crunch time, those allies that Ryan Dungey has could play a factor in this, just like Caitlin mentioned. I know we could talk about stuff like that for you a guys long, long twice. time. But, uh, I mean... Including myself and Marv. But, I mean... And the way they run right now, six points. Oh! Tomac is down! Dungey's in the lead! You can, says Carlos. Frankie Latham, the other team mechanic, right in front of him. The crowd knows how much will Dungey risk. Oh, Muskin! It's the difference now. Did you know about any of that or have any idea what happened there? I mean, I mean, after the fact, you know, I obviously knew about it. And, uh, you know, it's th that was tough to see also, you know. And the proof of it was by the pit board. And, you know, it's if anyone that knows anything about racing, it was pretty obvious on the move that Marvin did. If, uh, if the championship does come down to those three points, that's that's a bummer, a bummer for everyone. But, hey, if you want to take it, take that home and, and sleep on that at night knowing that someone uh, pulled over for you, then it is what it is.